हरि ओम ओ श्रीगणेशय नम ओं श्री हिण्यगर्भाय नम ओं श्री महाविष्णुवे नम ओं श्री महादेवाय नम ओं श्री महादुर्गाय नम ओं श्री राम रामाय नम ओं श्री सद्गुरव नम ओ सहना सहना भुनक् सह वीर कर्वाहतेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाषावै ओ शाति 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 ओ गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुरेव पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम समजन कल्याण निरत करुणामय नमा चिन्म देव सद्गुर ब्रह्म विद्वर भवानी शंकर वंदे श्रद्धा विश्वास याभ्यांगना न पश्य सिद्धा स्वांत समीश्वर वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु राय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेदसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पत नम बुद्धेवल यशोधर निर्भय तमोगता अजाड्यम वक्पटुंच हनुमस्मरणा भवे शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं नम शिवाय ओं नम शिवाय ओम 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 नम शिवाय न पार्वती पत हर हर महादेव हरिओ हरिओ टुडे इज अ वेरी ऑस्पिशियस डे टुडे इज भगवान श्री आदिशंकराचार्य जिस 
जयंती भगवान शंकराचार्य जी इस अवतार ऑफ भगवान शिव हिमसेल्फ इन ऑर्डर टू एस्टेब्लिश री एस्टेब्लिश धर्म भगवान है टेकन दिस अवतार इन गीता भगवान से कि यदा यदा हि धर्म से ग्लानिर्भवते भारत अभ्युत्थान धर्म से पदात्मा सृजा हम परित्राणाय साधूना विनाशा च दुष्कृता धर्म संस्थापनाथा संभवामी युगे युगे दट वेन एवर देर इज अ ग्लानी देर इज अ वीकनेस इन धर्म एंड द अधर्म अराइजेस बिकम्स मोर स्ट्रॉन्ग During that time, Bhagwan takes avatar. Bhagwan takes avatar to protect the good, to destroy the evil, and to establish dharma. Bhagwan has taken many many avatars. As Ram, as Krishna, as Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Narsimha. various avatars are there which are described in our puranas and in every avatar bhagwan protects the good destroys the evil and reestablishes the dharma even as uh, narsimha avatar bhagwan came out of that pillar to protect prahlad and to destroy that hiranyakashyapu and to restore dharma again <clears throat> so bhagwan has taken many unique avatars but one of the most beautiful and amazing avatar of bhagwan is that of भगवान श्री आदि शंकराचार्य ड्यूरिंग शंकराचार्य दिस टाइम ऑल्सो अधर्म हैड इंक्रीज एवरीवेयर एंड धर्म हैड बिकम वीक सी धर्म कैन नॉट बी डिस्ट्रॉयड बट इट बिकम्स वीक एट टाइम्स द फॉलोवर्स ड्विंडल then people who really understand and revere dharma become less and less and all confusions spread in the society adharma increases adharma means people start believing in uh, negative values like himsa also they don't understand the truth revealed in the shastras the great upanishads and the bhagavad gita reveals that supreme truth but slowly it becomes uh, it disappears people don't uh, recognize it and false philosophies they spread all over so during shankaracharya ji's time also lot of uh, different types of philosophies were floating in the in the world there were people who were believing that the whole world is mithya hmm? believing in that uh, buddhistic philosophy of shunya that everything is shunya everything is zero then there were those who were totally materialistic then even those who had faith in the shastras they had become very ritualistic they had forgotten the knowledge which is which is revealed in the shastras everywhere they were following some superstitions then even those who have had faith in the upanishads they had interpreted the all the upanishads and gita totally wrongly fallaciously hmm? 
though the Shastras talk about that one supreme truth, there were people who believed in uh, more than one reality. They considered Ishvara as different, Jivas as different, Jagat as different. So total chaos and confusion was there in the society. See, many times we see the evil people outside and we can recognize them. But a uh, lot of evils exist within us. And the evils exist in the form of misunderstandings. So Bhagwan took Avatar as Shankaracharya. And even when he was just uh, eight years old, he left his home. He went to his teacher, Govinda Padacharya Ji. He studied all the scriptures, means followed the human value of going to the teacher and learning. And thereafter, he started uh, traveling all over the country, preach, teaching people the real uh, lessons of our Vedas. Shankaracharya Ji wrote commentaries on the main Upanishads, 10 Upanishads. He also wrote commentaries on Bhagavad Gita and on Brahma Sutra, 555 Sutras of Brahma Sutra. So these three texts, Brahma Sutras, Upanishads and Bhagavad Gita are the backbone of Vedanta uh, teaching. So Bhagwan commented on this text to clarify all doubts and present the teaching clearly. And while doing so, Bhagwan negated all false philosophies, all false concepts, all false ideas. He very logically, rationally negated all of them. If you read and study Shankar Bhashya, you will know that he used the weapon of the Shastras. He used the weapon of uh, logic and proper systematic presentations to destroy the evils of wrong thinking, of wrong philosophy, of wrong concepts. And established dharma. Shankaracharya ji established five mathas in, in different corners of uh, India and in the center also to spread the message of the Vedas. In fact, four important main mathas Shankaracharya ji formed in North, West, East and uh, what do you call South. Shankaracharya ji formed this, uh, established these four mathas to spread the right message of the Shastras. And only in 36 years of his uh, lifespan, he achieved such great work. And because of the avatar of Shankaracharya Ji, our dharma is surviving and flourishing even now. But we should continue taking his support, taking support of his bhashya to strengthen and to maintain the purity of our dharma, the sanatan dharma. So we are all very, very, uh, should be very grateful to Bhagwan Sri Adi Shankaracharya Ji. Without him, we will never ever understand the Shastras. Therefore we pray that Sada Shiva Samarambham Shankaracharya Madhyamam 
अस्मदाचार्य पर्यंतां वंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रुति स्मृति पुराणानाम आलयम करुणालयम नमा भगवत पादम शंकरम लोक शंकरम शंकराचार्य जी हैड मेनी डिसाइपल्स बट फोर ऑफ देम वर वेरी very uh, famous and important who were given the responsibility to take care of the four mathas in the four corners of the country one of his uh, very wonderful disciple having supreme dedication and sharanagati towards bhagwan sri shankaracharya ji was uh, totakacharya and totakacharya had so much reverence and faith in uh, shankaracharya ji he had totally dedicated himself to uh, to bhagwan and out of his great love and and uh, devotion totakacharya ji has also composed a very sweet uh him or what you call the uh, stotra in praise of adi shankara acharya ji it is uh, it is called totakashtakam so let us chant totakashtakam and offer our gratitude to bhagwan shri adi shankara acharya ji on this day वेदिताखिलशास्त्रसुधाजलधे महितोपनिषत्कटिता निधे हृदय कल ये विमल चरण हृदय कल ये विमल चरण भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण करुणावरुणालय पालय मवसागर दुख विदूनरद रचयाखिलदर्शन तत्विद रचयाखिलदर्शन तत्विद भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण भवता जनता सुहिता भविता निजबोध विचारण चारुमते कलयेश्वर जीव विवेक विदम कलयेश्वर जीव विवेक विदम भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण भवानी मे नितरा समत चेतसी कौतुकता मम वारय मोह महान जलधि मम वारय मोह महान जलधि भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण सुकृते दिकृते बहुधा भवतो भविता समदर्शन लाल सता 
अतिदीनमीम पिपाल अतिदीनमीम पिपाल शंकर शरण भवशंकर शरण जगती मवितु कलितात विचर महामहसल अहिमा शुरीवात्र विभासी गुरो अहिमा शुरीवात्र विभासी गुरो भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण गुरु पुंगव पुंगव के तनते समता मयताम नहीं को सुधी शरणागत वत्सल तत्व निधे शरणागत वत्सल तत्व निधे भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण विदिता नया विदेकला न च किंचन कांचनमस्ति गुरो द्रुतमेव विदे कृपा सहजा द्रुतमेव विदे कृपा सहजा भवशंकर देशिक मे शरण 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 बोले श्री भगवान श्री आदिशंकराचार्य महाराज की जय It's a very beautiful uh, ashtakam. Here, uh, Totaka Acharya Ji is uh, requesting Bhagwan that may you become my refuge. I am surrendering to you. Please protect me. And a very beautiful term is used for the Guru. the guru is called deshikam sadguru is called deshikam deshikam means one who shows the direction one who shows the direction direction to whom where direction to our supreme goal our supreme state of enlightenment so guru points out the direction to us but in a very interesting way the guru is already established in that state and he is calling us towards himself so in the world when we are when we want to when to go to some one's house where we are going for the first time at times we get lost in the various lanes so we call our host and we ask for direction that please tell me how to reach your place so the host asks us ki where are you what are the things which you see around you so you tell i am on this road i can see this building on my right 
I can see this place in front of me. So from the location where we are, the host gives us the direction. It tells us to go straight, take a right turn, then go ahead. In this way, he guides us towards his own home. If another person is calling from another place, he tells that person to take a left turn. Just now he told this person to take a right turn. So each one, according to where they are, they are given directions to reach the destination properly without getting confused. That is the role of a deshika, a guru, a sadguru. But we have to tune to that Sadhguru. We have to make a call and ask for directions from the teacher himself. Then the teacher will guide us. Teacher guides us each one individually according to our own uh, evolution where we are. Therefore, very beautiful term, Deshikam. So, Bhava Shankara Deshika Me Sharanam. Oh, Shankara, oh my dear teacher, be my refuge. I surrender to you. Vidita Kila Shastra Sudha Jalade. You are the very knower of all the Shastras. All the Shastras are like the ocean, ocean of nectar. And you are the knower of this ocean of nectar. Vidita Akhila Shastra Sudha Jalade. Shankara Chariji knows all the Shastras. He is the very embodiment of all the Shastras. Shruti Smuti Purananam Alayam Karuna Alayam. If you study the Shankar Bhashya, you will find that he, from that, he has understanding of all the Vedas, of all the Puranas, of the Itihas, of all the Dharma Granthas. And not only that, but Shankaracharya Ji also knows all the various types of misunderstandings and wrong philosophies people have and he appropriately eliminates them or removes them. All the virus which has entered our brain, Shankaracharya Ji with his teachings, eliminates them and gives us our health, takes us towards our ultimate destination. Mahito Panishad Katitha Arthanide. You are the very abode of the teachings of the great Upanishads. Upanishad Katitha Arthanide. The teachings of the Upanishad, what is said in the Upanishads, you are the treasure house of that. The Upanishad teaches us this great Mahavakya, Tattvamasi, Aham Brahmasmi, Ayam Atma Brahma, Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. The very essence is there, understood, and Bhagwan is well established in that. Ridaye kalaye vimalam charanam. I am keeping your lotus feet in my heart. I am keeping your feet constantly in my heart. See, in order to understand Shankara Chariji, we should develop supreme love for him, devotion for him. Devotion for Shankara Chariji means devotion for his teaching. We should be totally tuned to what he has taught. 
through the through the bhashyas so keeping shankara charity's feet in my heart i am praying to you i am surrendering to you please bless me karuna varuna laya palaya maam you are the very ocean of compassion please protect me bhavasagar dukha vidun ridham i am being tortured by this uh, world bhavasagar by this samsar i have experiencing lot of sorrow suffering in this samsar so please protect me by giving me the knowledge of that supreme rachaya kila darshana tatva vidam that tatva which is revealed in the shastras make me understand make me understand the the reality completely from all sides properly without any doubt without any confusion give me the teaching clearly so that all my doubts get dispelled bhava shankar desh kame sharanam bhavata janata suhita bhavita nija bodh vicharana charu mate those who have this good uh, intellect and those who want to know the self you give them great joy by teaching this self knowledge to them so when we approach a teacher if we have the proper qualification in us if we have the jignasa if we have vivek vairagya shamdamadi shat sampatti and mumukshutva then it becomes easier for the teacher to impart this knowledge to us but even if we don't have this qualification and if we surrender to this teacher he will bless us with uh, with this knowledge so please teach me kalaya ishwar jeeva vivek vidam teach me the essence of ishvara and jeeva who is ishvara who is jeeva and how ishvara and jeeva are one please teach me this knowledge and who is shankaracharya bhava eva bhavan iti me nitaram samajayat chetasi kautukita you are sakshat uh, lord shiva you are sakshat bhagwan shiva only who has taken this beautiful form to guide all of us hmm. mama varaya moha maha jaladim please remove this delusion which is there in my heart the ocean of delusion which is there please eliminate this delusion and bless me o oh lord uh, shiva in the form of shankaracharya ji please bless me take me into your refuge hmm? sukrute dikrute bahudha bhavato bhavita samadarshan lalas lalasata ah because of my various uh, good deeds i have this desire to know the supreme sukrute adikrute bahuda bhavato bhavata samadarshana lalasa when we perform good deeds in many many lifetimes we develop that lalasa 
to to know that supreme bahut sukrutan ki jodi manani vithali avadi sant naneshwar maharaj says that because of my punya of many many lifetimes i have love for vithala similarly when we have this punya of many lifetimes we will develop the desire for this knowledge advaita vedanta knowledge we will have that desire only when we have that punya hmm? so sukrute adikrute bahuda bhavato bhavata bhavita samadarshana lalasata that uh, lalas means that desire to experience that supreme ati deena mimam paripalayamam i am very very helpless please protect me ati deenam i am very helpless by myself i cannot walk this path one little confusion and it will take me totally in a different direction altogether this is a very narrow path and very precise in katopanishad it is said kshurasya dhara like a edge of a sword very very narrow and slight mistake and we can fall down so please guide me on this path oh my dear teacher take me into your refuge jagati mavitum kalita krutayo vicharanti maha mahasachchalatah to protect the world you yourself have assumed so many different forms as your disciples to guide all people see though adi shankara chari ji was one his disciples who take charge who has taken charge of this mathas they are also called shankara charya and they teach their disciples the same teaching of adi shankara charya ji so everyone is a is like an embodiment of that great shankaracharya everyone is like a mini shankaracharya taken different variety of forms to spread the message of the shastras to all they themselves benefit from this uh, teaching and they they give this to everyone who also benefit from this teaching see in the in our shastra it is said that if we want to worship lord shiva then we have to become shiva shivo bhutva shivam yajet only by becoming shiva we can worship shiva completely means when we identify with shiva when we understand ourselves as chidananda rupa shivoham shivoham our worship of shiva will be complete similarly our worship of shiva as shankaracharya ji will be complete when we identify with him completely through his teachings through his bhashya by totally dedicating ourselves to understanding his bhashya not uh, deviating anywhere else not getting distracted by other philosophies other ideas other concepts but totally dedicating to shri adi shankara chari ji's uh, teachings we will be able to identify with him completely ahimam shri vatra vibhashi guru you shine in this world like the sun and the moon oh my dear guru my sadguru please take me into your refuge please protect me guru pungava pungava ketanate you are the best among all the gurus you have that uh, uh, what do you call emblem of uh, a bull on your flag because uh, shankaracharya ji is the avatar of uh, shiva 
and Shiva's Vahan is a bull, Nandi. So, Shankaracharya's Dhvaja will also has uh, Nandi on it. So, Guru Pungava Pungava Ketana Te Samata Mayatam Nahi Kopi Sudhi. You have no equal in this world. Nobody can be compared to Adi Shankaracharya Ji. He is unique, he is one, he is that Supreme Brahma himself. Sharanagata Vatsala Tattva Nidhe You are the one who, who expresses all love for those who take refuge in you. You are very affectionate towards those who take refuge in you. Bhava Shankara Tattva Nidhe You are the very uh, treasure of all learning. Be my refuge. Please protect me. Vidita Namaya Vishadaika Kala I don't know any great knowledge. I don't have any art or any, any talent in me. Nacha kinchana kanchana masti guru, nor do I have any wealth to offer you. I don't have any wealth to offer you also. But I am surrendering to you. Drutameva videhi kripam sahajam, quickly bestow on me the compassion, your compassion which is quite natural to you. Dhritameva videhi krupam sahajam, sahajam krupam. That compassion is quite natural to you. So I am surrendering to you. Please bestow upon me all your compassion. Be my refuge. Please protect me, guide me. Be my Sadguru. So in this way, this is a very beautiful uh, uh, ashtakam by Totaka. Totakacharya. So on this auspicious day, we express our gratitude to Sri Adi Shankaracharya Ji and uh, ask for his blessings. See, we have studied the Bhagavad Gita and now we are studying the Upanishads. All this we are doing under the guidance of Adi Shankaracharya Ji by following his uh, Bhashya we are understanding, trying to understand these Shastras. So, Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashikrita Vande Bhagavanta Punapunaha Shruti Smati Purana Nama Alayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavat Pada Shankaram Loka Shankaram Om Tatsat Om Tatsat now we will uh, continue with our uh, Isha Vasya Upanishad class. We will chant the Shanti Mantra. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 So Isha Vasya Upanishad from uh, Shukla Yajurved having only 18 mantras convey the essence of the teachings of the entire Veda it uh, reveals the twofold path, the path of jnana and the path of karma. So, path of jnana is that to gain that self knowledge and through niridhyasan gain abidance in that self. So, the path of niridhyasan is what is called also called nivritti marga or the jnana marga which finally culminates in in self in uh, moksha 
in enlightenment. But if we have not gained that self-knowledge, then we can prepare ourselves through following the path of karma. So, the path of karma is also called pravritti marga. So, in the beginning, we should follow the path of karma as we should follow our dharma properly, according to Varna and Ashrama. And as we follow our dharma, our antakarana start becoming more and more pure. Thereafter, we can pursue the path of karma yoga, in which we perform actions and dedicate our actions to Ishvara through all the devatas. Therefore, Bhagavan here in the in the Upanishad it says that karma and devata jnana should go together. Means we should perform karma, offering them to the devatas. Then our karma will become karma yoga. Without that offering to the devatas, without offering to Ishvara, karma doesn't become karma yoga. When our Kartavya karma is offered to Ishvara, it is it becomes karma yoga. Thereafter, we can further purify our antakarana through upasana. Upasana are also broadly classified into two as saguna upasana and nirguna upasana. Or upasana of the manifest and the upasana of the unmanifest. So in the beginning, one pursues the uh, upasana of the manifest. Thereafter, we come to understand the unmanifest. So here the Upanishad says that manifest and unmanifest upasana should be done together. Means one should understand the beauty of both these upasanas and pursue them uh, together. So if we do that, it will purify our antakarana, give us all the, all the, what you call, aishwarya, the siddhis, and uh, also take us towards the higher loka, and ultimately give us that uh, prakriti laya, and by Bhagwan's grace, can also give us moksha, uh, as a krama mukti, Hmm. So this upasak who is sincerely doing the upasana and perceiving the path of karma yoga very sincerely also prays to Bhagwan, uh, request Bhagwan that please bless me here and now itself with knowledge. I am not well qualified, but I have pursued this path of karma yoga very sincerely. I have followed all your teachings very sincerely. So please reveal yourself to me. So it's a prayer to Ishvara to reveal his identity to the sincere uh, follower, follower of Dharma. So in that 15th mantra we have seen this beautiful prayer. Ki hiranmayena patrena satyasya pihitam mukham Tatvam Pushan Apavrunu Satya Dharmaya Drishtaye Kihe Pushan that Ishvara alone is uh, seen as this as this entire world. This world is the body of Ishvara. And the most glorious expression of Bhagwan is in the form of the sun from earth on which we are living, the most glorious expression of Bhagwan, which we can see and experience and benefit directly is the Lord's Son. So Ishvara in the form of the Son is addressed here in this prayer. Ki he pushan, O nourisher of everyone, I want to see you. But who is stopping you from seeing your light? Your brilliance is stopping me from seeing you. Your brilliance is like a golden lid on your face. Please, I want to see your face. 
I want to see your face. See, at uh, times uh, at night and all when we when we drive, then the car in front of us, which is uh, if it is full headlights, and it uh, shines on our eyes, we can't see. But when they dim their light, then we can see. Oh. we can see the driver we can see the people who are occupying that car similarly the brilliance of this uh, sun is so much that we don't see the real nature of that sun means ishwara's brilliance this whole world is ishwara's brilliance it's like a lid on his face so the seeker wants to see ishwara he doesn't want to get caught up with this brilliance he has gained vairagya through karma yog through upasana so now he is requesting bhagwan that please show me your face tatvam poshan up apavrunu hiranmayena patrena satyasya apihitam mukham your mukham of satya that the the face of that supreme reality is as though covered with this golden orb so he push he pushan oh dear son oh ishvara ki tatvam apavrunu reveal that tatva to me i want to see drishta ye i want to see you i want to experience you but why should i reveal it to you because i have followed your teachings i have followed your path i have followed what you have said in the vedas i am satya dharma means i am the follower of the path of satya means i am a dharmic spiritual person so i am qualified according to your own teachings so please reveal this truth to me so sometimes we uh, on our road also we we come across some road block you know the police and all they have uh, stopped uh, all traffic there is a block then we approach the officer the traffic police and request him to please let me go so he asks sir why should i let you go then i show my card my identity that i am a government official and i have to go there so then he opens the block and allows me to go in the same way we are requesting bhagwan bhagwan is asking why should i open why should i reveal myself to you so the seeker says i have followed your path i have followed the path of dharma so please reveal your identity to me so that i can see you tatvam pushan apavrunu satya dharmaya drishtaye further the another prayer is there to clarify this whole thing more vividly that how the truth is being covered and uh, what is my request i want to see your face so that prayer is there in this next mantra also mantra number 16 pushan ekarshe यम सूर्य प्राजापत्य व्यूहरश्मीह तेज ये रूप कल्याणतम तत्ते पशा यो सवसो पुष सोहमस्मी पूषण्ये कर्षे यम सूर्य प्राजापत्य व्यूहरश्मीहतेज ये रूप कल्याणतम 
तत्ते पश्यामी यो सावसौ पुरुषः सोहमस्मी हे पुषं ईश्वर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दैट सन शाइनिंग इन द स्काय इज इज एड्रेस्ड हियर हु इज सन पुषं is many names are there glorifying the sun one of his beautiful name is pushan pushan means one who nourishes everyone if the sun nourishes this earth and all the beings who are living on earth even those creatures who are living in the oceans in the very depths of the ocean are nourished by the sun the light and heat of the sun nourishes all the sun nourishes all those who are living on land all those who are living in the in the, in the sky everyone is nourished by the sun so he is called pushan he pushan ekarshe ekarshe means one who travels alone the sun travels alone the sun is one travels alone hmm? the sun represents ishvara ishvara is one ishvara travels alone in this vast cosmos he is present everywhere he is a lone traveler ekarshe yama he is also yama yama means controller surya one who soaks one who takes away everyone's uh, 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 pap chief things uh, lie out in the open under the under the light and heat of the sun all the moisture is is soaked by that sun similarly when we present ourselves in front of that sun the ishvara he takes away all our pap all our impurities and make us pure therefore he is called surya sun is also the son of prajapati hmm? prajapatya therefore he is called prajapatya the son of prajapati hmm. from that hiranyagarbha only that uh, this whole creation came into expression from hiranyagarbha is born a vaishvanara and from vaishvanara are born all these uh, devatas so as a devata son devata is a is a son of that prajapati so he is requested oh son i can't see your face so please view her rashmi you you withdraw your rays and samuha tejah and restrain your brilliance withdraw your rays and restrain your brilliance so that i can see your face hmm? just as we request the car in front that please switch off your headlights so that i can see so here the sun is requested please withdraw your rays and restrain your brilliance यत्ते रूपम कल्याण तमम तत्ते पश्या एंड भगवान ब्लेस्ड दैट सीकर बाय विद्रॉइंग दैट तेज बाय विद्रॉइंग द रेज एंड शोइंग हिज फेस सो द सीकर इज सेइंग यत्ते रूपम कल्याण तमम तत्ते पश्या आई एम सीइंग योर ब्यूटीफुल लवली फेस kalyana tamam which is full of uh, blessings 
एंड आई एम अंडरस्टैंडिंग यो असौ असौ पुरुष सो अहम अस्मी दैट द पुरुष इन यू द एसेंस इन यू इज माय ओन सेल्फ ओनली सो अहम अस्मी सो असौ असौ पुरुष सो अहम अस्मी द द पुरुष इन दैट सूर्य एंड द पुरुष इन मी आर वन द एसेंस इन दैट सूर्य एंड द एसेंस इन मी इज वन It's a beautiful prayer. More about this, we will see in our class tomorrow. So till then, you take care, be happy, safe, peaceful, healthy. Do your work, do your sadhana. Wish you all a very happy Bhagwan Sri Adi Shankara Chari Ji's Jayanti. Remember him. Sing his praise. Read his bhasha. tune yourself to shankara chari ji and constantly take his blessings om tat sat om tat sat om tat sat shri ram jay ram jay jay ram 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 श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम 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 जय जय राम जय जय राम बोले शिव रामचंद्र भगवान की जय ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदक्षते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम